A new year and another opportunity to create a new you, but it is also a great opportunity to create a, a new you for you and your partner. And joining us this morning to talk about couples resolutions are, is Dr. Sabrina Jackson. Dr. Jackson, welcome. What type of resolutions should couples set for each other? Oh, there are many that couples can do together. Because what we know about resolutions is that after the first 10 days, most people stop. <laughs> and so one of the things that's important that makes people more successful is when they partner up and they do it with someone. That's true. So when couples who are absolutely together get together and come up with resolutions for their relationship, they are more amped to keep them going. Now, what kinds of resolutions are you talking about? Are you talking about working out together or just being together? Uh, both, but more importantly, communication things together. Coming up with innovative, creative ways of doing things together that don't cost a dime. So think about things that you enjoy, that you love to have fun and make you laugh, and then committing to doing that on a regular basis. Now, I see one of the tips you have here is learning your love language and yes, committing yes, yes. that and re relaying that to your partner. What is that? The five love languages are very simple. Gifts, physical touch, people like to be touched, yes. words of affirmation, acts of service, and quality time. So there's actually an assessment that you can take. Find out what your and your partner's love language is and then commit to communicating not just in your love language but in their love language. I know another thing. I've been married 20 years and Congratulations. got the three kids. Well, thank you. <laughs> got the three kids and it is sometimes hard to be able to spend time together. You actually got to commit to having that time away from all the distractions. Absolutely. I tell couples that they should commit to two date nights a month because you have a whole lot going on with the kids, you have going on with your job, but make sure you have a date night. And a date night doesn't have to be something that costs money. You can get the kids away mm -hmm. and then stay at home, look through the kitchen and cook something together. So anything that you can do together. Now, another thing that it has here on the list is learning something new together. Because, of course, as you're learning, you're growing as a person, but the same seems to be true for couples as well. Absolutely. You can learn a language together. You can learn how to cook together. You can go to Home Depot and learn how to do one of those home activities <laughs> together. <laughs> Definitely. And you, you also mentioned here, explore your spiritual interests. So you can grow spiritually as a couple. Oh, absolutely. You can pray together. You can read the Bible in a year together. You can go and check out a gospel concert together. Or whatever your particular spiritual interests are, commit to doing them together. And of course, as we started uh, speaking about this topic, we spoke about New Year's resolutions. You can actually help your mate with their resolutions and in doing so, help out the the, bond that you the have. bond that you have. I always say, ask your mate and find out what their goals are. Then commit to helping them commit that, com complete that goal. So if they want to start a business, you may research and help them find out things to do and do it with them. Anything that you do together strengthens that bond. Excellent advice, Dr. Jackson. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you and so of course, much for having me. We have much more information on our website, wxyz.com. Just click on the Scene on 7 section.